All right. May I please have your attention? Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Rhythma Patak, and I'm your host for the evening. And it gives me immense honor to welcome all of you this evening to Women's Creek Zones Elixir Honors 2020. लेकिन इससे पहले कि मैं आगे बढ़ूं, मैं आपको बता दूं कि you have no idea how happy I am today to host this for this amazing lot that is sitting here in this hall today. First of all I want to tell women's cricket that you guys have made us so proud so please give yourselves a huge huge round of applause for giving the nation another reason to celebrate And finally this evening has come alive and thanks to women's cricket zone for it it is their effort that all of this is coming together Now let me introduce women's cricket zone in a bit Well women's cricket zone is a media entity dedicated to the coverage of women's cricket with an aim to make it one stop destination for all things women's cricket now the journey started 2 years ago with just a website to show and now they have few web shows along with a website and some digital magazine now the second issue of which that will be released this evening is what we've all gathered here for and on may 10 2019 with the support of the bcci We launched the first issue of this magazine which had Smriti Mandhana on the cover. Now, second issue that we have today, yes, you can give that a huge huge round of applause. Now, today is a very special evening not just because the second issue of this magazine will be released, but also we have the inaugural Elixir Honors where we honor women in this field. and everybody around it who made this possible and also let me introduce you to the jury that has been on the panel to give the awards the jury consists of former players like uh, lisa stalikar reema malhotra marina ikbal and journalists like kas naidu and raf nicholson so thank you so much jury for making this evening possible to isse pehle ki aage badhe थोड़ा सा मैं आपको बता दूं कि बिकॉज दीज आर अवार्ड्स एंड वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग एवरीबडीज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टुडे आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू कीप अपलॉडिंग आप तालियां बजते रहने चाहिए बिकॉज आप ही के लोग यहाँ पे स्टेज पे आएंगे सो आई यू ऑल विद मी वुड यू डू दैट कैन आई हेयर अलाउड येस आई थिंक दैट कैन बी लाउड आई यू ऑल विद मी कैन आई हेयर अलाउड येस फैंटेस्टिक सो लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्ट्रेट इन टू दशन लेट्स डाइव स्ट्रेट इन टू दशन and let's start with our very first honors that we're here to give away this evening now over the last couple of years since the indian team's incredible run in the 2017 women's world cup in england the attention of the country has turned towards women's team now although they are still jostling for space in uh, mainstream media the team and the players of the country have carved out a place in every indian's heart i must tell you that so we're going to today start with the very first awards and celebrate the international players who play this amazing game and also the women who toil away at the domestic level so we're going to start with the very first domestic awards and uh, the period in consideration is 2018-19 now to give away the award may i please invite on stage smriti mandhana vice captain of india t20i side and vijay raghavan venu gopal ceo of fast and up Let's give them a huge round of applause as they take center stage. Now we'll very firstly start with the very first award which is the Junior Bowler Award. And this one goes to Tejashwini N Duragar. Congratulations Tejashwini. Now as she walks to stage let me tell you a bit about Tejashwini. Well she's taken 68 wickets over six age group tournaments in the 2018-19 season. She was the highest wicket taker in the under 19 one day matches where she led Goa into the knockout stage taking 28 wickets in eight matches at an average of 4.3. Hafeez saw her becoming selected for both the under 19 and under 23 challenger trophy teams. Congratulations. So we move on to the next award which is the junior batter award and 
and this one goes to Shrifali Verma. In fact, I just spoke to her before she came on stage. Now, let me tell you, she's just 15 years old and the, she took the country by storm as she slammed a 31 ball, 34 in the first match of the Women's T20 Challenge, playing for velocity. Now, it was on the back of an exceptional domestic season that Verma earned her place in the lineup. Congratulations. Now, to present the next set of awards, may I please invite on stage Reema Malhotra, former Indian player, and Sunandan Lele, freelance journalist. All right, moving on to the next award, which is the Senior Bowler Award. And this one goes to, any guesses? <laughs> I see that hand going up. This one goes to Taranum Pathan. Congratulations, Taranum. Now, Taranum Pathan played an integral role in Baroda's run to the quarterfinal of the Senior Women's One Day Championship, where she topped the bowling charts with 24 wickets in nine matches. Her season tally of 39 wickets in three tournaments came at an average of 10.51 and an incredible economy rate of 2.96. Congratulations, Taranum. So I'll move on to the next one, which is the Senior Batter Award. And I spoke to this lovely girl as well. It goes to Priya Punya. Congratulations, Priya. And join us on stage. Now, let me tell you, in October 2019, Priya Punya became the seventh Indian to score a half century on ODI debut. While it may have looked like an easy work from the outside, it wasn't, as Punya's mountain of runs at the domestic level that saw her selected to play at this high level. Now, through the 2018-19 season, the elegant right-hander slammed over 900 runs in 25 matches. And Priya, before you go down, I know you can talk. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to thank Women's Crick Zone for this award and also my coaches and support staff for always supporting me. Thank you. Well, congratulations, Priya. Now, we'll move on to the next award under this category, which is the Breakout Player. Now, this category takes into consideration players who have made their international debuts no later than 2018 and have put in an exceptional performance throughout the calendar year 2019. So, let's take a look at the nominees of the Breakout ODI Cricketer. Georgia Wareham, Harshita Madhavi, Priya Punya, Sarah Glenn, Ty Love Lemming. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the breakout ODI cricketer is Georgia Wareham. Congratulations to Georgia Wareham. Hi guys, Georgia Wareham here. Uh, it's an honour to win ODI Breakout Player of the Year. Um, apologies for not being there tonight, but it's a it's a big honour to win this award and. Yeah, thanks for everyone who voted. Now let's move on to the next one, which is the Breakout T20I Cricketer. And the nominees are... Chanida Suttirwang, Radha Yadav, Sarah Bryce, Shafali Verma, Sulipon Laomi. And with that, we've got a winner. And the winner is Chanida Suttirwang. Congratulations. Let's give it a huge, huge round of applause, please. Thank you for the Well, uh, with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, time for a very interesting thing before we go ahead. And this is a very special award that we are moving on to. Now, you see, we often laud performers and performances on the field. But often the people who work behind the scenes quietly are usually a little forgotten. And they slip just under the radar. 
So today, we're going to go ahead with one of the honors that awards and honors those who are behind the scenes. Ladies and gentlemen, Siddhant Patnayak was one such person. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Siddhant Patnayak, who wrote about women's game and covered it when not many even ventured there. A history of women's cricket in India was the kind of book that he wrote, which was called The Fire Burns Blue. His work for Wisden India was much appreciated and he also co-authored the book that I'm talking about, The Fire Burns Blue, A History of Women's Cricket in India. Now to honor Siddhant's legacy, Women's Cricket Zone brings to you the Siddhant Patnaik Memorial Award, by means of which these unhailed contributors will hopefully get the recognition they very well deserve. So ladies and gentlemen, before we go ahead with this award, may I please call upon Siddhant Patnaik's family with us on stage. Can we please have Ananya Patnaik, his sister, Vasa Patnaik, mother, and Mr. Deganta Patnaik, the father. Can we have the family on stage, please? Hi, everyone. I'll just talk on behalf of mother because she is emotionally down right now. So according to brother, what we spoke to him every time, he was eating cricket, drinking cricket, sleeping cricket. All the time that he was having his cricket on his mind. When he had memory loss also, he was just remembering all the cricket statistics that is possible. So I would like to thank especially Mamta Maven, Smriti Mandana, or sorry for the pronunciation, and Jemima and Shekha Didi, who came to brother, met him during his last phase of the days and made his day very memorable. Thank you. And also I would like to thank uh, Yash, Karunya Didi and Snehal Didi, who had been with the family throughout until now. Thank you to them also. And all the best girls. So he always wanted like, yeah, women's cricket will be in the top level. And I'm seeing that it's growing. And I got interested into cricket just for him. And I do play cricket in the office. Thank you and all the best for your T20 World Cup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, before we move forward, we have created a little something to show you what the man who ate cricket breathe cricket and every did everything around cricket was all about let's take a look I think those applauses should keep coming in. And ladies, please join me on center stage to give away the award. All right, I know it's a little emotional, but we will move on to give away the award to the person who deserves this award for her valuable contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, the award, the Siddhanta Patnaik Memorial Award goes to Karunya Keshav. Let's give her a huge, huge round of applause 
for this. Now, let me tell you, Karunya Keshav has reported on cricket for Wisden and ICC. She has worked extensively with Siddhan Patnaik at Wisden India and also co-authoring a book named The Fire Burns Blue, a history of women's cricket in India, alongside Siddhanta. She was also one of the only three Indian journalists to be present at the Lord's Press Conference box in the final of the Women's World Cup 2017. And when she isn't writing about the sport, she's writing about culture and current affairs. Is that right? All right, so we'll have you here and say a few words on this special occasion. I suppose this feels a little bit like getting an award for best shot when you've kind of won, kind of lost the match. Um, this obviously is all as much as Sid's as anyone else's. Um, I think I think the thing that excites people about women's cricket is how much every story has the work of so many people behind it, and I think. Um, um, Sid's story is just the same and I suppose all of our stories are just the same. As um, uh, Ananya mentioned, Sid's passion behind cricket is because of his family and uh, it, to see them keep that passion alive is, has been incredible and really inspiring as well. Thank you. Well, thank you so much Karunya. Thank you so much ma'am. Thank you. Thanks Ananya. Thanks a lot. Let's give them a huge, huge round of applause. I think it's very, very well deserved for the invaluable contribution people make behind the scenes to make everything so large and luxurious. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to the next honours, and that is the Team of the Year. Now, often when one talks about Team of the Year, we tend to think of selecting our own playing 11 uh, or a 15-member squad for a particular time period. However, here at Women's Crick Zone, instead of selecting a team of the year that is made up of players from all around the world, we have instead chosen to reward the most consistent international teams across each format. So, are you ready for that? Alright, so, very first one is the ODI team and the nominees are Australia India Pakistan. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, the ODI team of the year is Australia. Let's give a huge round of applause for Team Australia for taking home this one. Hey guys, Meg Lanning here. Just wanted to say that it's a huge honour for Australia to be named ODI Team of the Year at the Crick Zone Awards. Uh, sorry that no one can be there tonight, uh, but it's been a fantastic year for women's cricket and um, yeah, we're hugely honoured to, to get this award with so many great teams out there. So thank you very much and have a good night. With that, we move on to the T20I Team of the Year and the nominees are... England. Thailand. Zimbabwe. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of T20I Team of the Year is Team Thailand. Let's give that team a huge, huge round of applause. So, thank you, Women Quickstone, to give uh, the award for us. Uh, we're very happy and appreciate that. Hope uh, we do well even this year. And thank you so much. All right, with that, aap sab log maza aa raha hai? Aa raha the lovely girls who are sitting here, agar aap aap log to khiladi hain, aapko to zyada josh hona chahiye. Aap log ko maza aa raha hai? Okay. All right. So with that, we will move on to the next set of awards. Now, the next set of awards is the Domestic Stalwart Award. Now, it is often said that the senior players are the strength of a team and they provide the experience, guidance and calmness to the young, exciting talent that comes through a team. Now, however, in recent times, it is sometimes seen that so much emphasis is not being laid and on the seniorship, but it is all towards the youth in sports and around the world. And the older players are getting a little sidelined and sometimes forgotten. So, we're going to change that. And today, we celebrate the achievements of those players who have toiled away for years on end at the domestic level. 
not only achieving incredible things on the field, taking count countless wickets and scoring plenty of runs, but also being an immense role model to all the youth talent that we have in the country. The first award. of the domestic stalwart goes to Reema Malhotra. Let's give, yes, let's give the lady a huge round of applause. I'm extremely proud and happy for your uh, prestigious achievement, Reems. Uh, you truly deserve this for uh, the contribution you have done towards uh, women's cricket. Uh, you have inspired a lot of people, you have inspired me as well. So there's many more to come and keep going. Congratulations on this award. Cheers. I'm extremely happy that uh, Reema is receiving this award today. Um, she truly deserves it and she's been uh, a legend in her own way. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to play with her, against her and under her. Uh, playing for Western Railways under her captaincy has taught me a lot and uh, as you all know she is one of my best friends too. So congratulations Malotre, you truly deserve it. Congratulations Reema. Well she is very fondly known as the domestic queen and very rightly so for piling on runs for various teams under the auspices of the Women's Cricket Association of India. Reema would you like to say a few words? Uh, hi everyone, uh, first of all I would like to say, I would like to thank uh, Women's Cricket Zone for this wonderful honour and uh, this is a very crucial period for uh, Women's Cricket as we see it grow and uh, uh, thank you so much Women's Cricket Zone for promoting it in a right way, thank you so much. Congratulations Reema. Well with that, ladies and gentlemen, we'll move on to the next uh, person who's won the Domestic Stalwart Award and uh, the name is, this one goes to Gohar Sultana. Congratulations Gohar. I would run out of words if we have to uh, talk about Gohar uh, as a player and um, since I have played with her, uh, I could only uh, think of one thing is that uh, if we mention Gohar's name, it's uh, commitment and uh, dedication uh, for the game. Uh, she has been a very uh, dedicated player throughout her career and uh, the amount of hard work uh, she puts in uh, in her practice hours is unbelievable. And uh, one more aspect I would like to touch is uh, regarding her uh, mental strength. She has been a very mentally strong player. Uh, not that we cricketers have uh, everything uh, easy for us but there has been a graph which goes up and down and I have seen her through that graph as to how she has recovered and got herself uh, going and raring to go every game. Well I was going to say a few words about her but I think that sums it up and to give away this award may I please have Mamta Maven on stage once again. Can we have Mamta Maven on stage and also Gaur if you could just join us on stage. Congratulations and let those applauses coming in for this lovely, lovely lady and very, very talented. Let me tell you, Gohar Sultana is the most successful spinner with over 400 wickets to her credit. And one of the things that one of her teammates mentioned about her is that she is one of the most skilled bowlers and easily the best tactician in the circuit at the moment. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. I would like to thank Women's Crick Zone for this award. Uh, this was unexpected, but it's a nice surprise. And I, was, I would also like to th congratulate Ananya for her second edition as chief editor of the magazine. And I would like to thank... <laughs> I would like to thank Mother and God for this award because uh, right from the day I started, my mother has been praying for my success and uh, I would really thank, like to thank her and God for uh, you know, answering her prayers. And it's a bit too early, but I would like to wish uh, all the girls who will be making the cut for the uh, World Cup, uh, bring the cup home, girls. We all will be cheering for you all.
good luck thank you thank you so much gohar and now that she's addressed that girls bring the cup home give yourselves a huge round of applause because you can you have no idea how much the country loves you now legend is usually a term that is often used interchangeably with longevity but in women's game the term fits someone well if that person has lived up to the expectations and also been a role model to millions who come after her ladies and gentlemen the one who wins this one is shanta rangaswamy ladies and gentlemen let's give the lady a huge huge round of applause for being the legend of the game that she is so with that we're going to move to a much more fun segment i think we've been talking a lot of serious things here and when we talk about fun there is only one cricketer that comes to my mind and i have been following her on social media and she's quite the rage so i'm sure you have already guessed who she is so ladies and gentlemen let's call upon jamima rodrix to take over and uh, let her get the energy up so can we have miss rodrix with us here please so thank you so much good evening everybody no man not like that good evening everybody so today ladies and gentlemen is the fun section right here so we have our first guest no it's not you veda <laughs> it is priya punya okay so guys so man give it up for priya punya guys so priya punya you know you had really tough competition and i believe you worked really hard for this but how did you become the national crush of india like what's the reason what's the secret behind it so socha nahi tha kabhi ki national crush hi banungi you 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 worked really hard for it right ha ko zyada hi inspiration hai na first national crush <laughs> okay so uh, leaving that aside uh, you just recently made your debut for india and on your debut you scored a 50 so how is that feeling and how is the feeling sharing the dressing room you know with the legends of women's cricket uh bachpan se sapna rehta ki khelne ka matlab india khelna hai aur mitali di hairi di ye sab the aur debut pe 50 to matlab zyada hi acha lag raha tha aur team jeeti wo zyada acha lag raha tha kafi acha tha sab khush the so give it up for priya punya ladies and gentlemen Coming to my favorite member in the cricket team, I call her my granny, Veda Krishnamurthy. So it's a uh, coffee with Jemmy going on right now. So uh, Veda, we've just heard, you know, I got news that you had, uh, you know, uh, changed your diet. Like you had, you had, you had started following that game changer diet. So what, what's the status right now? So I changed from Coke to Thumbs Up now. That's the diet. But but it lasted pretty long, you know, like w- one month, I guess. Yeah, the thing is, I get bored very quickly. So after a month, I thought Coke doesn't taste well, so I shifted to thumbs up. <laughs> I hope you don't get bored of me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have the captain of the Indian women's cricket team. So you know, uh, I sat with uh, women's cricket zone for like almost two hours. It was a very tough decision, but at the end, we thought, okay, this award has to go to you, Hari Deep. I mean to have the messiest room and the one who sleeps the most. So, ladies and gentlemen, this award from Women's Cricket Zone goes to Harman Preet Kaur. Give it up, guys! So, what's the secret behind you sleeping so much and you having such a messy room? Messy room? I I think. Abhi to nahi hai. Huh? Galat baat. Huh? Kali to gayi thi tere room. See, I put all my energy on the ground, so I don't. Uh, <laughs> I think you and Smriti are the same category because it was between you and Smriti who sleeps the longest. But I think so, hands down, you won it. No, I think Smriti gives a very tough competition. She's got the messiest room. I have to tell, Smriti's got the messiest room. I had to thanks, be. Thanks, Veda. I had thanks, to be her room partner for one night, and I came and I was like, I didn't have place to keep my bags, <laughs> so it is that messy. Okay, fine. So, would you like to share this award with Smriti Mandana? No, we'll just give this to her actually. <laughs> So coming back okay now Smriti Hari Deep has shared this award with you So <coughs> what was the room <laughs> when we were roommates what was the room please tell matlab jagah tha chalne ko room mein <laughs> 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 Okay 
Okay, guys. So now we have the youngster, the youngest person, I guess, who's made a debut for India, Shifali Verma. So you all know that she bats extraordinarily well. You know that well. But uh, I got I got to know from my secret sources that the the <laughs> that the secret to her batting so well is her TikTok videos. Am I right? Kya jab hi bola tha mat bol yaar. Guys, all those who are on TikTok, please go and check out her videos. She has really amazing videos. Iska matlab kya hai? Iska matlab kuch nahi. Okay, so and the last one for today is uh, the girl like no one has ever heard about her. You know, she comes from a very small town, and she's a really hardworking person. And I believe, okay, it's Jamie's prophecy that one day she'll become the vice captain for India, Smriti Mandana. Mandana. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Mandana. Sorry, I had not heard her name a lot, so I didn't know. Uh, so Smriti, like, uh, means people don't know much about you. Can you tell means how did you start playing cricket and how it all started? First of all, thank you for that introduction. Coming for you, ma'am. Like I have grown up watching you. Uh, grown up watching me. Yeah, yeah. Wow. You know, you were my inspiration behind all the shots. So you know, thank you for that introduction. <laughs> Okay, uh, jokes aside, I mean, women's cricket zone has done such an amazing thing today. You know, we hardly get to see this for women's cricket. So, a few words for uh, like on what they have done for women's cricket. Yeah, I think uh, this is first of its kind, like uh, awards for women's cricket. So, it's a uh, amazing, uh, you know, start to uh, start to the new year. And last year they came out with the magazine, and this year with the awards, and ho hopefully it keeps uh, improving. So, yeah, uh, really happy with the way uh, they are pro uh, progressing. Give it up for. Uh, Women's Cricket Zone and guys, this is all from me tonight. Thank you so much and have a great evening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that we had there, Jamima Rodericks. Let's give her a huge, huge round of applause. She's doing what she does the best. Thank you so much and thank you so much for uh, correcting me as well. I will remember this. It is Smriti Mandana. Yes, I've got that right. My pronunciation. Okay, fantastic. With that, ladies and gentlemen, let's shift gears to the International Awards. And the very first award under this category is Impactful Player. Now, we know that cricket is a team game, right? And in this game, each one has to put in a collective effort for taking the team over the line. Now, in this particular award, which is the Impactful Player of the Year, we have taken into consideration players' performance in teams-wise. So let's head towards the nominees of Impactful ODI Cricketer. And the nominees are... Elisa Healy Ekta Bisht Ellis Perry Jess Jonathan Kate Cross And the winner is... Elise Perry. Congratulations to Elise Perry. Let's give her a huge, huge round of applause. Hi everyone, uh, thank you very much for the acknowledgement. Um, yeah, it's a huge honour and I truly appreciate being recognised in that way. Um, also, just for the coverage and um, constant interest in women's cricket, um, both in Australia but also around the world, um, it's truly appreciated and it's lovely to know that um, so many people are interested and um, there's such great coverage like there is. So, um, yeah, thanks very much again um, and congr congratulations to all the other award winners. Um, really appreciate it. Cheers. Now, we'll move on to the next one, which is the impactful T20i cricketer. And the nominees are... Alyssa Healy Daniel White Deepti Sharma Catherine Brandt Nataya Bhuchatam And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of impactful T20i cricketer is Alyssa Healy. Give her a huge, huge round of applause, please. Well, with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now we address that one thing that we are here for, which is the release of the Women's Creek Zone magazine, the second issue. So are we ready for that? Can we please hear a loud, loud yes for it? I think Jamima did a great job of encouraging everybody to give me some energy. So are you all ready for it? 
Fantastic. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the second issue out. And for that, may I please have on stage Shikha Pandey, cricketer, Sunandan Lele, consulting editor, Karunya Kesha, who we just had on stage with us, S. Sudarshan from Women's Creek Zone and Yash Lahoti from Women's Creek Zone. Let's have all our dignitaries on stage for the release of the Women's Creek Zone magazine that we've all gathered here for. When we put together the first issue of the Women's Crick Zone magazine, our editorial team consisted of one person. We had 27 days in which to compile and send the magazine to print. There was obviously no discussion about who would be on the cover. We didn't have the time, nor did we have the resources. But considering the 2018-19 season that she had, Smriti Mandana was a no-brainer. Going into the second issue, we had a bigger team with bigger dreams and we had the opportunity to brainstorm. Since the ashes were going on during July, the name Elise Perry kept coming up during our discussions. The Australian all-rounder had dominated that tour of England. So by the end of August, September, we seemed to have finalized our cover. Discussions then became about how to approach her what angle we could take on the story, and how we could arrange photo shoots. But just when it seemed like the wheels were turning, something rocked our boat. In late September 2019, there was a retirement that changed our plans altogether. So from Australia, we turned our sights to England. You'll see soon. To everyone here, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for taking the time to attend this event. To the cricketers, past, present, and future, I would like you to know that what we do is for you. Our aim here at Women's Creek Zone is to provide the best possible coverage of the women's game. This magazine is dedicated to each and every one of you all around the world, playing at every level. We see you, we're watching, and we believe all your efforts count. We hope you enjoy this issue of the magazine as much as we enjoyed creating it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's the countdown to the release of the magazine. Let's give it a huge, huge round of applause as it takes center stage with those rotating wings to give you a glimpse of what the second edition of Women's Trick Zone magazine is all about. Let those applauses keep coming in. It is a huge moment in the era of women's cricket. There you have it. That's where. That's how the second issue looks like. Let's give that a huge, huge, huge round of applause. Thank you so much, dignitaries. Please join us on center stage for uh, media bites and uh, pictures.
Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the second edition of Women's Crick Zone magazine. Thank you so much, dignitaries. Thanks a lot for joining us this evening. Thanks a lot. Yep, that deserves a huge round of applause. But the evening's not done yet. We have another honor that uh, we must give away. And ladies and gentlemen, this is called the India International Honors. The best Indian cricketer. And this one goes to Deepti Sharma. Congratulations, Deepti Sharma, for taking home best Indian cricketer. In many ways, 2019 seemed to be the coming of age of Deepti Sharma, the all-rounder. Following her successful stint in the WCSL with the ball, her overall confidence as a cricketer and the way which she goes about her business, especially with the ball, is at a different level. A huge, huge congratulations for being our best Indian cricketer. Would you like to see a few words? Thank you, the ball though, yeah. <laughs> And this one is the best India bowler. And this one goes to, any guesses? Any guesses? I love how disciplined this entire audience is. It's amazing. So disciplined. I never saw so much discipline in my own school, honestly. All right, so we move on. The best India bowler goes to Poonam Yadav. Congratulations, Poonam Yadav, for taking this home. Now let me tell you, when players from the opposition are wary of a bowler, you know how good the person has been in the recent past. Poonam Yadav has often spun a web around batters, leaving them in a tangle. And her wickets column underlines just that. Let's give Poonam Yadav a huge round of applause for winning this one, which is the best India bowler. Hello everyone. I want to thank Women Crick Zone for giving me this honor and I also want to thank my family members, teammates, coaches and my lovely teammates. And I want to give my best performance for upcoming T20 World Cup for my country. Thank you so much. And this one I'm going to be very, very careful of for my pronunciation. Ladies and gentlemen, best India batter, Smriti Mandana. I got this right. Let's have Smriti on stage and let's give the lovely lady, the dynamic lady, a huge, huge round of applause. An average of over 70 and a strike rate of almost 95 in ODIs. These are the numbers hard to ignore, but they are, of course, what the country has come to expect from Smriti Mandana. The left-hander began the year in scintillating touch, blasting a ton and an unbeaten 90 in successive matches against New Zealand in New Zealand to headline India's first bilateral series win in the country. Congratulations, Smriti. Would you like to join us for a few words, please? Good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Women's Cricket Zone for this award. And I think, as I said earlier, they have been amazing in promoting women's cricket uh, from last uh, two years. And would like to thank all my teammates for this award. I think uh, last one year has been amazing for the Indian cricket team, both in, in both formats. And hopefully, uh, we keep working hard and keep winning matches for India. Thank you. Congratulations, Smriti. Congratulations. Let's give the lady a huge round of applause yet again. Beautiful evening, isn't it? Yes? Yes, it has been a beautiful evening and I can't tell you how much I'm looking forward to more such occasions and more such avenues where we support women in cricket and you're already giving us reasons to celebrate and we're looking forward to yet another one in this year, no pressure. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a word of thanks and for that, may I please invite on stage Mr. S. Sudarshan from Women's Crick Zone. On behalf of Women's Crick Zone, I would like to express gratitude to each and every one of you who's here for the Elixir Honours and for the release of the second issue of our magazine. We are also grateful for those who assisted us through the, through the process yet weren't able to make it here. To all the players here, 
we appreciate your presence having watched a lot of cricket and i say this at, as if that's a big task in itself i understand how tiring it must be for you to play a game and then be here i thank all of you once again for being here hope you had a good time enjoy your dinner thank you so much thank you so much women's cricket zone for making it happen thank you so much women in women's cricket for coming here and for your valuable time and everybody who contributes to this wonderful wonderful notion thank you so much my name is rudhima patak yet again and i've had a fantastic time hosting this for you tonight i hope you've had an equally good time thank you and have a great night ahead <laughs>